I'm uh, trying to get some ideas. The project three, kind of combining everything, but using masking fluid to have some type of recognizable shapes. I'm thinking of doing koi fish, maybe lotus flowers, but I just need to figure out the competition before I place the masking. So this is my sketchbook and then just trying to plan Okay, this is my plan. Have three lotus flowers, one koi fish, three lily pads, cheesecloth for the water, and then sand for underneath of water, masking for the koi fish, plastic wrap for lily pads, and tissue paper for lotus flower. This is 11 by 15 quarter sheet of paper and I'll sketch out the lotus flowers, lily pads and then koi fish with a pencil. So for the lotus flower, tissue paper, I'll just trace it in the cut. That is right here. This one here. This one's right here. Oh, that's that top one. Very small. This is soapy water. So protect the brush with the soapy water. some splashes just to give a little bit of bubbles. And let it dry. Do um, tissue first. Right here, lotus flower. I like to have a uh, pink. And what I'm going to do is to color that area with whatever color. And change some colors a little bit. So I'm going to cut to a 
about that shape. Next one is the cheesecloth. Let's put this. And I'll just make little organic patterns. Like a break this uh, thread pattern. Create a little more organic abstract flow. Okay, so. I'll just to spray this down and then add color. Since this uh, is a lot of uh, blue, I'm gonna drop some uh, orange just to have a little bit of contrasting color. I might do yellow, see if I can give a little bit of light. Okay, we'll see how that comes out. Wait till it dries. Okay, I'll let it dry and then come back. Okay, it's been like an hour or hour and a half. I'm gonna take this off while it's a little bit damp, so uh, it's easier. Okay, nice uh, cheesecloth and ooh. That's pretty nice. Plastic. Plastic wrap came out pretty nice. There you go. Ah, came out. Peeled off nicer than before. When the tissue completely dries, it's just a glued stuck on the paper, so. If you can't take off the tissue, you can re-wet it and it'll come up right off. When you re-wet it, the color is loose too, so uh, be careful not to smudge the color. And the last thing is the masking fluid, but it's still damp masking fluid you have to wait till completely dry so i can rub it with a rubber cement pickup you can get it at the art store so i'll wait till it dries i'm gonna take that masking fluid off since it's so completely dried so this is how ended up what I need to do is to fill in the white area and maybe bring out some of the petals by contrasting and then get this little bit more clear. I can bring this stem out since this is the foreground um, stem is overlapping. Maybe I can push the edges of that lily pad to have it a little more emphasized if I can push the foreground shadow. All right, so let's finish it.
So I think I'm done. What I did is to have the color on the koi fish so I can see the balance between warm colors and cool colors. And then I got into the shadows of each object trying to bring out the shape by contrasting either foreground or background like a darker background lighter foreground uh, foreground lighter pushing the shadow and then I kind of gave the unified shadows shadows on the um, like a bottom side right here and there but sometimes I wanted to bring out the edges I pushed that other side and I made some textures on the petals I did use um, white gel pen just to give a little bit of details like a separation between the petals to begin with that helped me to uh, push that value and color contrast I think that's all I had to do is to enhance the contrast after um, having that koi fish colored when I do contrast or darken the area I try to see the textures or shapes that's being made by the fabric or the plastic wrap and um, try to keep the abstraction I brought out the uh, cheesecloth uh, lines like over over the koi fish to give a little bit of their under the water uh, instead of just a foreground above everything I try to intermingle them it is like a surrealistic and very textural some abstractions but having a theme of the koi pond with a lily pad and a lotus flower is a good idea uh, colors are unified by the cool colors versus warm colors which is that fish and a flower but still have that colors within that shape itself like that blue in that orange uh, green in the red so what you can do with this is to plan the composition by blocking um, with a masking fluid or the tissue papers or the uh, surround wrap I meant to use the sand on the foreground but I it didn't really work out that way but I like using sand as well in some other images so just use whatever texture you can create and then finish it up by deciding the shapes and then what to contrast I hope you enjoy more spontaneous decisions at the end it's uh, very creative and uh, very unusual like original give uniqueness so I hope you enjoy with this um, non-traditional material making textures and shapes have fun painting <laughs> <laughs>